Jason Munson here with PelletStovePro.com and PelletStovePro.net, and I am the Pellet Stove Pro, and discussing how do you know if your door gasket is bad? That's a question some people have. Um, you'll notice that the door, when it's put together the way it's supposed to, it uh, creates a seal that um, yeah, keeps the fire in and keeps the smoke out. Um, if you have a smell of smoke inside your house, it is most likely not the, gore, the door gasket. The way that pellet stoves work is they actually suck air through the stove um, out to the exhaust fan, which is usually you know, back here, and then out the chimney. So that being the case, if the door has a little bit of a um, like gap or you know, something like that, um, it's going to be sucking air out. Um, and uh, so if you have smoke coming out from this part of your stove right here, it could mean a couple things. It could mean that your, uh, it could mean your exhaust fan is bad. It could mean your exhaust fan is slowed down. It could mean that your chimney needs to be clean. Um, it may not necessarily mean that your door gasket is bad and probably is not the door gasket that is bad. Um, you'll notice actually on mine, even with it closed, all the way closed, there's a little gap there. Um, oh, and a lot of stoves will actually not have gasket material at the top of the ga uh, glass here. And that allows for a little bit of air to wash over the top of the glass and it actually helps keep the glass clean. Uh, so if the gasket, if the door gasket had lost a little bit of its integrity and it was leaking a little bit of air, uh, into it that way, it really wouldn't be that that big of a, a problem. Um, if the door did not have a gasket, however, that could be a problem because if you get a big enough gap, uh, well then you can lose the vacuum that the stove is trying to create and therefore you could potentially get a dirty burn. But a little tiny bit of a gap on a door gasket is not that big of a deal. Um, I have another video that talks a little bit more of uh, how, you know, should you replace that particular gasket? Um, but on this video, we're just talking about how do you know if it's bad or not? So Jason Munson, Pelletstow Pro, check out pelletstowepro.com and pelletstowepro.net.